Hello fellow YouTubers, welcome back to YouTube Gaming Community number 111. So let's talk about what's been going on here since Friday. So Friday was my day off. So I got up in the morning, early in the morning, and I was about an hour or two, I was sitting here relaxing, watching YouTube videos, messaging back and forth a couple people on Skype, you know, having conversations. Went to go use the bathroom, and I heard the dreaded, very loud gurgle, gurgle. And the reason why that's dreaded around here is because once a year, I have to call in a plumber to bring a machine in and to clean out our pipes. Go down to the house, because we have two beautiful trees in the backyard, but because of those two beautiful trees, the tree roots sometimes grow in the sewer line, because you have to replace the sewer line from here to the main pipe, which is about 12 feet, more or less. and just can't afford that. So the option is just to clean it out once a year. Well, when I heard that and came downstairs and there was just about know, this much water on the floor, not a lot of water on the floor come up from the plumbing. And it conveniently happened on a Friday. And it conveniently happened about by the time we got a hold of somebody and they called all the people. About a middle afternoon by the time we, you know, and they all said, well, we can't come out until after 4.30, and it's a Friday before our holiday weekend, and it's time and a half. So I had to pay a plumber time and a half to come out here. And so my day went from having a day off, you know, getting everything together early, relaxing, to cleaning up the entire basement, moving everything out of the way for the machine to come through. And he came late afternoon and cleaned it out, and then he was done by dinner time, and he left. Luckily, it wasn't true at this time, but still. So, that, that, I was like, I, I know, you know, I didn't have anything together for the community video. And then Saturday was basically putting everything back. Sunday, I actually didn't feel like it. But we got up, well, Sunday night, I was basically spent most Sunday night just with some fellow YouTubers on Black Ops on the 360 playing Nuketown 24-7. That's just crazy fun, that small map. It's just craziness. And we get to, to, to Monday morning. Uh, again, I thought I'd have this video done early, and to get a phone call at 6 o'clock in the morning from my wife's parents saying they had to take her, my wife's father, to the emergency room. He's having chest pains. He's diabetic and he's overweight, so there's some worries, real worries there. So, got up early, got dressed really quick, and we were there, and we were there most of today. Uh, it was there to late afternoon. Me and my son went home, my wife stood there till very late tonight but since I couldn't sleep and all that went on I got to this video together and we're gonna get this video done now Wednesday and Friday's video I have no idea uh, I'll post a bulletin if there's not gonna be one right now I plan on doing it but if things change with the situation then you know life's always more important than YouTube simple as that so one other thing I want to get to I did not get any comments together for 1010 because I simply didn't have time I apologize for that and there was a subject that people wanted me to talk about, about a certain person's video that's no longer up on YouTube. And I did watch that video before people started sending me messages about it. And I did actually, ironically enough, I did end up talking to that person on Skype. But while I was thinking about that, and I originally said I was going to talk about that video, I thought it was best I want to talk about the subject itself and not the video. So. Friday, we're going to get to that subject. And that subject is e-begging. That's what it's termed. People call it e-begging. Now, I know this is a very controversial topic. And I know on Friday, or just mentioning that I'm going to do this on Friday, people are already getting ready, pre-getting their comments ready, to just go off on this subject. I will say this now. I'm only going to read comments on this subject that are about the subject. I'm not going to read comments attacking an individual person. There are a lot of people in the community who have done e-begging videos. Some people that today will get in front of the camera and tell you how bad it is when they're the same people who did it before. So, we'll get to that on Friday. Now let's get to our topic for today. It's from mp4podcast.com. I'm going to direct you to his video. It is revision 3 up to their old tricks, still spammers, friend invites. I'd recently come across channels who do this of people in the community. What it is in this video, he shows you where these people, they make a channel. They take their videos from the original channel, they put it in the upload section of this channel so that when you click on the video there, it, the, the, 
view count for their other channel. They make a playlist of these videos for their other channel. And then in the subscription box, they have their other channel and some of their friends maybe on there to check out channels. So if you subscribe to that channel, then you're going to subscribe to the other channel. And the by far worst thing that happens is they decide to sub this channel to their other channel. Gaming the system with subscribers. This is just basically a way to game, another way to game the system that's out there that you should be aware of that some people are doing. I ran across a big channel around last year that I wish I, I tried to find it, but I couldn't find it. I wish I knew, could remember it. It had 100,000 subscribers. And this person had like 200 fake or other channel accounts just made. And, and he, he mentioned this on the left-hand side of this, this channel that you take you make as many as up to 200 channels and if you were to sub to his channel and you let him know how many you were and, and the names so you could verify it that he would take it that many of his other channels and sub to your channel in other words a sub for sub ponzi scheme now i think in general all these are actually quite frankly pathetic i mean i don't know where the person doesn't have faith in themselves whether they 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 want to make it look like there are really more people watching them or more people subbing them and they're bigger than they really are. So how do you feel about the subject? Do you like it? Do you not care? Do you dislike it? Let me know in the comments below and I'll we'll definitely read some of those next video. He had another subject to talk about real quickly and it's simple. It's just a simple thing I'll put out there. He wanted to know why YouTube doesn't allow you just to simply have a box to click when you're subbed to a channel to click whether you get their channel videos in your subscription box or not because we all his point was we all go through this time when even though we we want to support the channel we stay subscribed to it we don't we're just not in the mood to watch their videos it may be a couple months why doesn't youtube have a thing where you just simply check mark where you're, you're subbed to the channel but you check mark something that their videos don't come to your subscription box and then later on when you're in the mood to watch your videos you can uncheck mark the box that way you still support that person because instead of having to go through the hassle of unsubbing them and then subbing them back when you want to watch your videos again just something he thought would be cool if youtube would do that function so let's get our videos to check out today and the first one is by Jill Poo 3 important channel updates the only reason I bring this video up is because I've seen some videos out there of people who misconstrued what actually happened to Jill Poo 3 thinking that IGN was the people who copyrighted and took his channel down and that is not true and to find out what really happened check the video out now I want to say something real quickly to people to understand that when you get copyrighted and you challenge it, you go to the place to challenge it, it says on YouTube, the next step after you challenge somebody about copyright is for them to take you to court. And that, so if you're going to counter somebody's copyright claim in your video, you have to be ready to, to go to court in case it happens. Now most time honestly it doesn't happen but you know what it could happen and you better be aware of it so if you're gonna counter anybody who copyrights you you better be ready to go to court to be safe. It's like you also have to remember that if you have been banned your channel's been banned or suspended from YouTube if YouTube finds out you have another channel there are no three strikes they will shut it down. So be very aware of that. Just something for you to think about, uh, about those things. So, next video to talk about is Star Mario 123, the ultimate tribute, 10 songs from 2D Mario Metroid titles. I don't know why I want to say Mario, Metroid titles. So you want to see some really cool Metroid music from Metroid, Super Metroid on. Check out that video. Next up is Tony's Games 1, Elder Scrolls 3, Morrowind, Let's Play Episode 1, if you want to see some gameplay from that great game. Next up is the Unbiased Gamer, review of Mortal Kombat Collection for the PS3, if you want to see uh, what it looks like, uh, what the good and bad, there are some bad things people have said about that collection and some good things, so if you should check that out. Next is Pocket Migo, the Legacy Gamer Presents tag, Retro Gaming in the here and now. So, 
you're interested, check out his video. Basically, you know, check out his tag video. It's a rather interesting tag. And you know what? Basically, what you retro gaming today and now. Next up is Anna. Hey, I don't gonna just butcher this. So get ready, Anna. HeGeekDust.com. How to mod your NES2 with composite jacks. So you want to know how to modify the NES2 so that you can use it on your NES, so you can use it on your HD TV or newer TVs. Check that video out. Really cool video. Next, the Green Monkey King review. Terminator Salvation arcade game. Um, the game that came out at the same time as the movie. The game actually came out last year. Really cool arcade game. Uh, if you love shooter arcade, you know, fast paced shooter arcade games, check that out. Next is Big Daddy Darth discussion and a few past pickups. So his discussion is like a tag, and it's basically about how he saw people at PAX. Now let me say this: on live was they were they, on live was giving away their systems for free if you registered log you know registered for an on live account while you were there. And his discussion was: Do you consider on live things like this a council? Now, personally, I consider it a council, but when you got to give away your systems for free, I consider your council doomed. The council itself doomed. Now, the technology online stuff may not be, but the council, I think, is. Next up is iCyberVision Ultra IW Live Game Gun. It's a cluster FK in Italia. Playing some good old Modern Warfare 2. And what I like about this shooter video is it's not a video where he goes 32. It's a video where he does die a lot, but it's kind of it's comical the way he dies. And, you know, the reaction. Those reactions someone has when, you know, someone kills him. Check that out. Next is PSI Man UK Tag 002. When games become close. Basically, this tag, what games, clothing items, do you wish you had? Check it out. Next is Play Alive's PAX 2011 was great. Let me kind of not tell you about it. Uh, he, he, long winded way, he goes about his experiences of meeting people in the YouTube community at PAX and how great it was. So if you should check that video out. Next is Gaza Zena. Open tag, what games have you kept stored on your old memory card? just what it says what games have you kept stored like on your old ps1 memory cards and older memory cards what games do you have stored there for me it has to be whatever the last game i rented on my ps1 and that was a long time ago but anyway just to check that out and make a tag response and last but not least blood eye draken jungle strike campaign number three training grounds one of three if you want to see the good old jungle jungle strike game and that third campaign in the game check that video out and he asked me by the way blood light a question i'll get out there how do you get shouted out in the youtube gaming community well it's rather system simple that's just simple usually helps if i can speak it's been that way all day today to be honest with you the way day's gone simple as this if i happen to find upon your channel if you happen to me send me a message of why i should check out your channel or a video you think i should check out and if I like it, I will shout it out. Now, more than likely, there's very few chance times I've ever turned a video down. But I will give. If I do, I'll give you a reason why. The same with topic. You have a topic you think the community should discuss. By all means, send it to me, and I will let you know when we will talk about that topic. So, guys, that's all for now. I will hopefully see you on Wednesday.